Hi, it's Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions and today we have an SEA Orion inverter and if you have a look at this one it's got the red fault light on and on the screen there it says no utility. So if an inverter like this says no utility it means it's not detecting any power from the street. So uh, there's a few things that you'd want to check first up. One is that the AC plug and that's uh, the plug on the right hand side here is uh, definitely plugged in. Um, the wire that that should plug into, uh, well, if it's beside a switchboard, it'll be wired straight back into the switchboard. But if it's uh, away from the switchboard, like it is in this case, it should be go back to an inverter AC isolator. You want to make sure that's in the on position. You see that's uh, got on up the top there, so that's in the on position there. And uh, you also want to check in your switchboard that the solar supply main switch is in the on position as well. Now, uh, in this case, I've checked all those things and we definitely got power from the street as well and we've still got this no utility issue going on and uh, I'm an electrician so I've actually uh, pulled this plug out and, uh, and checked it with my meter and it does actually have 240 volts there it's working it's providing power as it should be but the inverter is not detecting any power and that's why it's showing this no utility message so in this case it's an internal fault with the inverter so if you've checked all those things and uh, the next thing would be is to get an electrician to actually check that you are actually getting ac to the inverter ac power to the inverter 240 volts and if you are getting 240 volts to the inverter and you're still having this no utility issue then it is a problem with the inverter there's a couple of things you can do if the inverter was installed within the last five years you may be able to make a warranty claim on the inverter to do that, uh, there's a few things that you'll need. You'll need to know the installation date, the original uh, date it was purchased, and you will need to know the model number and serial number of the inverter, which can be found on the left-hand side here. So we see up here we've got it. So yeah, where have we got? It's a it's a two kilowatt inverter, two thousand watt, and we've got the serial number there as well. So they're the two important things there. So. Uh, if your inverter was installed more than five years ago, then it is going to be out of sight the warranty period. And so you could try and get it repaired, but I wouldn't really recommend it because it's an old inverter now and you're going to be spending probably around $500 to try and get it fixed, which won't guarantee that it's not going to fail again the next day. When you could just uh, bite the bullet, spend a bit more money and get a brand new quality inverter with a full warranty period again. So in my opinion, that's a much better way to go. So look, if you're on the Gold Coast or Southeast Brisbane, you need help with your SEA Orion inverter, give us a call at Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions. We're here to help. And uh, yeah, look, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Thanks for watching.